Why do I feel like this is gonna be the best thing ever? So what's really unique about this area of Delhi is that they're really famous for having fusion Indian food. The spice has kicked in. <laughs> it's spicy. Alrighty guys, we're gonna start our first day here in Delhi, actually exploring East Delhi, and we're gonna be trying street <laughs> foods on a food tour with Delhi Food Walk Tours, and I am excited to try some local food. As we're starting our time here in India, in Delhi, on the back of a motorcycle, in peak hour. <laughs> Dad. Oh, <yeah. laughs> experience <laughs> so the first dish we're trying is pav bhaji and it basically means pav means bread and bhaji means the mixed up vegetables and it actually originates from bombay but these guys have brought it to delhi i've never tried this dish before so we're just checking out the restaurant to see how they actually make the different food and it's like this whole station so he's grabbing the spices throwing it onto the hot plate and he's mixing all these different spices i think it's going to be super flavorsome when we actually get it we've got another station over here cooking the bread but what we need to do first is mix the butter in with all the vegetables look at that rip off some bread that looks so good ready Oh wow, that is so good Steve. The spice has kicked in. <laughs> it's spicy. It's like a, um, like it's so buttery. It's like a buttery curry. Oh, it's spicy Steve. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> Look at that. You'll love it Steve. So what's really unique about this area of Delhi is that they're really famous for having fusion Indian food. So they take a lot of the classic Indian food and then they put a twist on it. So this shop here, they do chai, but they don't do just standard chai, they do tandoori chai. So here is our tandoori chai. So what they actually do is heat up these clay pots inside a tandoori oven. And then when the chai is ready, they grab one of these pots out and then pour the chai into these steaming hot clay cups. And then it kind of reboils. And it's meant to get the flavor of the clay pots into the chai. That was, it was so cool, hey? Yeah, I've, cool. I've never seen anything like it, but time for some tandoori chai. I'm obsessed with chai. It is seriously so good. This is my favorite thing here in India is this chai. It is amazing. It's like a lot of spices and creamy and this one's really hot. Can I taste the clay? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Hey, at least it was an experience to watch it. So this is another one of those fusion dishes we've been talking to you about. So there is this bread in the south called paratha. Very famous, popular bread. We've had it before in Australia. But this one is more of like a northern version. But it's also got a fusion because this one is pizza. A pizza paratha. Are you ready? So it's basically stuffed with a bunch of toppings that you would normally have on a pizza. That is so hot, Steve. It's a spicy pizza. <laughs> it tastes like a giant flat pizza pocket. Yum. Yeah. Try it. It's good, Steve. Hey, if I can have pizza and technically I'm eating the local food, I'm all up for that. When we went to school, we had these things called pizza pockets. Oh, that's spice, by the way. Had these things called pizza pockets. This is pretty much just taking me back to my childhood. Wow. <laughs> 
Down the road from the Parata place is an insanely popular samosa place. And what's cool and why it's so popular is its fusion. You can order five different samosas. They could be anything from pizza samosa, chocolate samosa, pasta samosa, just everything. Samosa one, samosa two. I wonder what's in this one. Oh, this one. Oh, this one. <laughs> wow. Is that mac and cheese samosa? <laughs> what? I'll have to try this. <laughs> it works. It works? Oh yeah. Mac and cheese samosa. It's great. We're not just going to try the western versions of the samosas. This one is a tandoori paneer. So it's like cottage cheese and tandoori sauce in a samosa. And just when we cracked it open, the flavors just go straight up your nose. Oh, wow. So good. It's literally like having the most flavorsome curry inside a samosa. And we all know samosas are like the best thing ever. And to have your main meal inside that, so good. If you need one reason to come to India, chocolate samosas, the best invention ever. Leave a comment below, what do you think is inside this samosa? Already had two, I might as well go in for the third sweet. It's stuffed with mangoes, wow. So coming to India and doing a street food tour, I did not expect to be eating a hot dog. So this is an Indian style hot dog. So what they basically do is they cook cottage cheese, onion, and then like mashed up vegetables into this kind of paste or patty. And then they put it in a bun and then they fry that bun in a bunch of butter. Healthy. Are you ready? Why do I feel like this is going to be the best thing ever? <laughs> ready? It's all that butter. Oh my gosh. It's like a spicy Indian sloppy joe. <laughs> Steve, I'm having a second bite. So the next dish we're trying is chup and it's basically made of soy and white flour and then they've cooked it in the tandoori and ours is stuffed with a bunch of spices and it's covered in the sauce and the way that we're meant to eat it is actually roll it up in this bread. It's actually called handkerchief bread because it is almost translucent. It is the thinnest bread I've ever seen. All right, let's see if I can do this. So we've got our wrap. It tastes like tandoori chicken. Does it? That's great. Whoa. Mm. Yeah, no, I'm Steve, you have, have a bite. You would not expect that to be vegetarian. Mm. It's like a chicken wrap. It literally tastes like we're eating chicken. The way that they've done that sauce. Wow. Tandoori chicken in a wrap. But it's not chicken, it's chap. It's not chicken, it's chap. <laughs> Alrighty, back on the bikes. <laughs> So we've now made our way down to Central Delhi and we are currently waiting for a very unique dish. They were telling us that this is probably the only place in India that you can find this. It is yellow lentils pizza. And this guy's basically like invented this way of making like a lentil based pizza. And we love pizza, so we're gonna try it. <laughs> Tastes like a real pizza. That is so good. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it tastes like 
a really good pizza. It's so buttery. It actually does taste like pizza, even though it's made of lentils. Guys, if you ever wonder if we do eat all the food. <laughs> this is a sweet one. Okay. So after showing you so much fusion food, I think it's time we show you something very traditional. So this here is probably the most popular street food that you'll see all over India. It's called Gol Golpa. So it's basically made out of this fried bread and then they've got potatoes and tamarind sauce and then they've dipped it in this mint drink and you're meant to eat it whole. All right. <laughs> Big mouthful. <laughs> it's crunchy and it tastes like fresh mint. But it's hard because you have to eat the whole thing in your mouth at once and my mouth's small. <laughs> See, even you try. Okay. I feel like you can do it much better you're than saying I saying I got a big mouth? <laughs> I can't fit it all in. You can see like anyone is eating like that. <laughs> I gotta see Steve and do it because he has a bigger mouth. Alright Steve, all in one. <laughs> Alright Steve, all in one. Are you right about it being crunchy? You have to have the whole thing. Really? Yeah. Is this just a joke for sure? No, no, no. <laughs> Go, one, two, three. <laughs> Spicy? <laughs> Sweet one, quick! <laughs> I'm just gonna squeeze sweet one for you, real quick. <laughs> no, thank you. It's nice. It wasn't too spicy, but it does have that punch. This though. is a special one. This is uh, with curd or yogurt and tamarind. So if you feel too spicy, you're supposed Ooh, to eat this. Oh, this is wow. a yogurt one. Yogurt and tamarind. So it's a sweet one. Down it goes. Cheers. 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 Mm. Yeah, is the spice gone now? Mm. That soothes the spice. I just love how it's a communal street food, so everyone's just like standing there, getting top-ups as they want, and then you just chat, hang out, eat more, get top-ups. <laughs> this dish we just tried, because it's made with water, we definitely recommend getting a local to take you to a place that uses mineral water, because this is one of the street foods that give a lot of people deli belly, so make sure you have a local guide just like we have, we can take you to a good spot because it is worth a try. It is so good. Alright you guys, I heard the food in India was hot, but I didn't realise it would be this hot. <laughs> good cheesy line by the way. <laughs> I'm nervous! Steve? I'm scared! <laughs> do it, do it! <laughs> you guys are probably wondering what we just did. So this here is called pun and we've basically tried the fire pan. And what it is, it's a beetle leaf and then they put rose jam on it. They set it on fire and they put it in your mouth. And um, it's meant to like cleanse your palate or it's good after like eating all this food. Which as, we like, have. like an ending thing. But um, wow. yeah that was scary. <laughs> you know what, we want to go and explore and see all the sights in the city and we're just going to jump on a bike and cycle through the craziness that is this city. Hodgin rickshaws, motorbikes. <laughs> 